Hello, my dear Yugi followers and friends. Um, it's so nice to be here today at this Lake Forest Park. This is near my apartment, actually. You know, I've been always wanted to um, to having a session here. You know, like an outdoor yoga session. But it's been so hot this summer. And it's finally cooled down, it's finally autumn, but even it's autumn, it's still very hot here in my hometown. Uh, but it's been raining for two days and today it's finally cooled down and I thought it would be so nice to take you guys also out with me, uh, my doggies today to have this uh, a, a session in this beautiful lake park, you know. We were walking a lot, me and my doggies, we were working a lot to trying to find a good spot for today's uh, session. And finally, we have this nice platform here, you know, in the middle of the lake. It's really nice and it's so peaceful and it's kind of cloudy today. So it's perfect for, you know, um, doing an exercise outdoor. Otherwise I'd be sweating my ass off. <laughs> And also, so this class is probably um, gonna be the last one that I'm shooting from my hometown, Hangzhou, for this trip because I am leaving uh, next Wednesday evening already back to Madrid. Um, so for this trip in Hangzhou, this is uh, gonna be my last shooting. And this is gonna be a great one that I have it here with you guys in the nice mountains and the lakes and my babies and so all right so um i am going to put up some uh, sceneries of this uh, nice beautiful park that i shot today it's a bit cloudy the weather isn't the perfect one you know it's very very beautiful when it's sunshine when it's you know uh less crowded but you know you all see the beautiful sceneries as I, as we saw along our way today okay and uh, I hope you enjoy today's class with us and uh, I probably see you um, in Europe again okay and all right so um, hope you enjoy and uh, yes see you in the class As we approach the autumn equinox, the seasonal changes also brings visible internal changes in the human body. In Ayurveda, it is believed that the Vata dosha is predominant than Pitta and Kapha during the seasonal change. When you have a predominant Vata dosha, you may have one or more of the following symptoms such as dry, cold, rough, and hard skin, irregular digestion, heaviness in the body, restless body movements, and stiffness in the joints, mood swings, lack of focus, irritability, and a sense of restlessness. In Ayurveda, the three doshas, Vata, Pitta, and Kapha, are derived from the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. During the seasonal changes, these elements are said to affect the doshas, thereby affecting the mind and body constitution. The seasonal yoga sequence includes gentle yoga poses and pranayama techniques is to help you feel energized with the deep stretches and stay connected to the earth. During the practice, please pay attention to these factors. Reduce the heat in the body. Emphasize on grounding poses. 
encourage softness in the poses. Keep the heartbeat low and in control. Focus on the agni or digestive system. Deeper inhalations during asanas and pranayama. Slow and deep stretches with the poses. Begin sitting on the knees and on the shins, while resting the hips on the heels. Place the hands on the sides and inhale and exhale, extending the spine along with the torso. Close your eyes and stay, taking six breaths as you connect. Inhale, raise the torso and turn towards the left side in a twist. Exhale, gaze behind you as you take the shoulders, chest, and head in a twist. Remain here for three breaths. Release and back to center. Inhale, raise the torso and turn towards the right side in a twist. Exhale, gaze behind as you take the shoulders, chest, and head in a twist. Remain in this posture for three breaths. Release and back to center. Now come into a resting child's pose for three connective breaths. Now sit in Vajrasana. Form a fist with both hands and place it below your navel, close to your hip joints. Exhale, extend the spine, raise the chest up, pressing the hands deep in. Slowly go forward with the torso when you exhale as you reach for the floor in front of you. Stay down, pressing the chest and face close to the sides and the floor. Stay here for six breaths. Now let's release and raise up the torso and come back to center. Now let's come back to the back of our mat and do three rounds of seated sun salutation B. Inhale, raise the torso up, lift the hips off the heels, raise the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down, bring the hands to the hips, take the torso in a back bend. Inhale, release, exhale, place the hands on the floor to come into all fours. Bring the chest and shoulders towards the floor. Inhale, rest the entire body on the floor and raise the chest up, placing the hands on the floor like a cobra. Exhale, come into all fours, extended puppy pose. Inhale here, exhale, rest, taking the torso back, placing the hips on the heels. Three rounds of seated sun salutation B at your own pace. Release and come into sit in staff pose. Relax and stay here, extending the legs and the torso. Stay here for three breaths. From the staff pose to greeting the earth pose. Inhale, raise the torso up and turn towards the right side. Exhale, press the hands on the floor, bring the chest, shoulders, head towards the floor behind you. Release and come to center. Inhale, 
Raise the torso up and turn towards the left side. Exhale. Press your out torso down to the floor, and release. Come back to center. Repeat one more round like this. Come back to staff pose, and fold the right leg and place the right foot close to the inner left thigh. Sit comfortably, adjusting the hips on the sit bones. Extend the torso upwards. Exhale. Go in a forward fold, taking the torso towards the left thigh. Hold the left foot with the hands. Now fold the right leg, placing the soles of the right foot close to the perineum. Sit comfortably, adjusting the hips. Inhale, stretch the torso up while turning towards the left side of the hips. Exhale, go in a forward fold with the torso, revolving your torso upward to the sky. Place the left hand on the right knee and stretch the shoulders, chest, and head inwards while holding onto the left leg with the right hand. Stay in this twist for about three breaths. Exhale, release, and come up. Now extend the right leg into seated straddle pose, extending the spine. From here, inhale and exhale. Go in a forward fold with the torso stretch, holding the left foot with your hands. Now twist your chest, shoulders inwards, and flexing your arms, gaze up. Stay in this horizontal stretch. Slowly come up and relax. From seated straddle pose, extend your arms out. Try to reach to the toes. Exhale. Stretch the shoulders, chest, and the head, pulling the upper body upwards. Stay here for about five rounds of breath stretching as you exhale. Slowly come up and release, and now let's bring it all the way to the other side. Bring the left sole to the right inner side. Stay up and tall. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, forward fold to your right knee, pressing your chin into your right knee. Stay here for three rounds of breaths. Now slowly release and come up back to center. Adjust your hips and bring the left heel inwards your right perineum, and stay twisted and come forward into your right knee. Come into this side twist. Your right hand on your left knee and your. Left hand on your right toes. Stay here and breathe. Exhale and relax back to center. Extend your left legs out into seated straddle and come forward into your right knee once again, pressing into your right knee. Feel the stretch. Now slowly revolving your body internally and coming into a side twist on your right side again. Your arms flexing, your right arm is flexing, and your left hand try to reach your right toes. Stay here and breathe. Now lift your torso up into seated straddle pose once again. Inhale, extend your arms out. Try to reach your toes and exhale. Stretch your shoulders, chest, and pulling your upper body upwards. Stretch here.
Exhale, come back up to center. From here, bring the right leg over left leg, bending both knees. Sit comfortably, adjusting the hips. Inhale, extend the spine and take the arms into eagle arms. Right arm on the left. Exhale, come into a forward fold and press the chest towards the sides while taking the eagle arms towards the floor. At last, try to press your chest deeper into your sides. Why your exhale and stay here. Exhale, release, and now let's do it on the other side. Bring the left leg over right, binding your knees. Eagle arms left on the right. Inhale as you lift and elongate your torso. Exhale as you fold forward. Two rounds like this, and the last round. Just try to press your chest deeper into your thighs and stay in the stretch. Now release from cow face pose, eagle arms forward bend, and come to lie on the stomach. Stretch the legs out and rest the hips, abdomen, and chest on the floor. Inhale, raise the chest up and come to rest, elbows on the floor. Exhale, place the hands on the chin and the rest the face on the hands. Stay here for about five breaths, pressing the. Abdomen firm on the floor. Breathe deep, feeling the belly move when breathing. Stay comfortably in this crocodile pose on elbows. Now stretch the body completely, lying down on the mat with face down in crocodile pose. Inhale, lift your chest off the floor, and stay here for three rounds of breaths. Exhale, relax the entire body. Once again. Inhale, raise the upper body and the legs off the floor. Exhale, take the arms behind and pull the body upwards, balancing on the belly in locust pose. Exhale, release. Bend the legs at knees and stretch the arms from behind to hold the feet. Inhale, raise the chest, shoulders, abdomen off the floor while holding the feet. Exhale, pull the body up, picking the sides of the floor, and stay in balance in bow pose. Slowly release into crocodile pose once again. Now extend your arms into a T shape. Inhale, place the left hand on the floor beside your left shoulder while raise the leg, left leg up. Place the left foot on the floor while twisting the hips and stretch the right arm at shoulder level on the floor. Exhale, move the hips deeper towards the right side. Settle the chest and the face comfortably on the floor. Beautiful. Now inhale. Come back to center, and now let's bring it to the left side. Inhale, lift your right leg and twist it behind your left leg. Press your right hand firmly into the ground. Feel the stretch of your left shoulder. Stay and stretch.
slowly bring yourself back to center and relax here for a few rounds of breaths. Now come to lay on your back and bring the knees to your chest. Gently massage your lower back area. Now straighten your legs upwards at ninety degrees angle, and inhale. Take the legs towards the left side of the hips. Exhale. Stretch the legs and bring the arms out at shoulder level, like a capital T. Stay twisting the hips towards one side for about three breaths. Why you gazing to the right side? Inhale. Use your core strength. Bring your legs back to center. Exhale. Bring it to the right side. Gaze over your left side. Feel the stretch and the twist here. One more time on each side. Inhale, slowly bring your legs back to center, and now bring the arms next to your body and bring the legs into a 45 degrees angle, and hold with your core here. Engage the core muscles here and pull the belly button in. Slowly bring your upper body up into a boat pose. And hold here for three rounds of breaths. Now slowly bend your knees and hold your knees tight into a bow shape. Bring your consciousness inwards, feeling grounded and relaxed. Now come to a easy pose into the center of your mat. Take a big breath in. Raise your arms into the sky. Exhale. Bring them into your heart center. Now bring your hands into a palm mudra. Fold the middle finger and ring finger and thumb. Press the tips of these fingers against each other. Close your eyes and hold this gesture with both hands. Place the hands on top of your knees. Begin to just breathe, closing your eyes while staying calm and composed. Now, from here, fill the belly and the chest with air passively. Exhale, releasing the air by throwing out through the nostrils, creating the sound as you would blow the nose. Make sure you inhale passively, going with this process for about five rounds of breaths. Take a few rounds of Sitali cooling breath work to cool down the body, which is also a great way to retain energy built up and conserve it to protect the body. Open the mouth and form the lips into an O. Roll the tongue in the form of a straw or a pipe inwards, and begin the inhalation through this. And feel the coolness of the breath right up to the soft palate. 
filling the air to the maximum, and after complete inhalation, lower the head from the nape of the neck to the trunk. Hold the air within kombaka for a few seconds. And now raise the head up and begin the exhalation with both nostrils slowly and with control over the exhalation. Exhale fully. Repeat this for about another three inhalations and exhalations at your own pace. The breathing should be done carefully, making sure the body cools down the right way. Beautiful friends. Now, when you finish the breath work, take one last deep breath in, filling the lungs, and bring the hands up, back to center as you exhale. Bow down to your heart, to Mother Earth. Namaste. Thank you so much for being on the mat today with the three of us in my beautiful hometown Hangzhou, and uh, we appreciate your support and the likes. If you like this video, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I hope to bring you more interesting classes from other parts of the world in the near future. Thank you very much, and see you soon. Namaste.